Um, so I said, "Kare, to kore ka tourist, to kore ka tourism, to kore domestic tourism, yeah, to kore fena na ye." What we are, what we are getting to at the end is we're finishing up with the music because for us the easiest way to promote Uganda is through our music. You know, but they but the nominations. But the nominations need from West Africa to South Africa, Europe, Asia, you know, have been awarded there. And I see the power, the power of a Nawidina, the power of an Injogeriza, the power of a Tumunonye. To but the nominations for a lot of my songs that are not only about Naye, but in a local touch. So in W Power, and I said, why don't we explore this? I cannot go on my 10th album. I cannot now do another album that doesn't have some of that culture in it so i said let me dedicate a whole album using my tv show to to promote to promote that yeah to promote that to promote ugandan music <laughs> and, and 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 cultural ugandan music real ugandan sounds not just jamaica with our with uganda on top real cultural music that inspires Talking about the nine districts, so the other day I was at the Centre in India, there's no Kenamu district, there's no Kola project came out. To provide the Centre in the Kola project came To do a project like this, it's even hard to say how much, because some places were still, or, 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 or you were for three days, other places, Kola, Ogena, Muchiro, Okoma, the next day, you know. Um, so it's impossible to even put a budget on all of it. Naye, Ewa De Leba of Love labor of love so when you have a labor of love whether it's 100 million whether it's 150 million you're going to make sure you get the job done um and for me we didn't have any support we didn't have support from tourism we didn't have support from the ministry we didn't have support from the board uh, you know uh we had support for the press conference they gave us this hall um Ua, so we had support from Ua, um but we didn't have support from anyone else so it was just navio nbs navcom and nbs we did it for the love of ugandan music the love of ugandan tourism the love of wanting to do something more and we still have no support <laughs> but we're going to try and do season two when you try to look at the sponsors you have on board it's a for what you can have life authority yeah. uh, no it's not a government aided project um Ua was just kind enough to give us this space for the press conference um and and we're going to be working with Ua very closely for season two but season one we were just ugandans with a camera <laughs> but the but the chigozi ne, just me chigozi and the camera crew. Uh, me and my friends and i think it's also built the success of the show because tewari tewari agenda you know we're not trying to push too much tourism we're not trying to push too much music we're not trying to push too much uh, you know of wildlife it, when you walk up balance and i think ugandans we don't need to pressure each other so with a show like navio x when you walk balance we don't we're not trying to pressure you you know and uh, and i think that's why the, the success of the show has been so much and when you look at the peak you know uh coming from a long line of of wagan i think you know i have two villages one of them is in the <laughs> so literally you built the city around my village um and we're able to name our ancestors going back almost 700 years you know tambulo mugana you're lucky we would have needed three in for me to for me to do it completely i'm i'm blessed to be rooted in a place where i can name my ancestors of them. and i wanted to give a bit of that spirit to the rest of ugandans and it doesn't matter what tribe you come from i'm, I'm from fungo i'm in uganda but i wanted you know we didn't even do baganda on this we're, going to do, we're doing it for season two episode two season two is where we're doing the baganda because i wanted to make it a ugandan thing I wanted to show people from, you know, Karamoja what a Muganda does, uh, what a person from Toro does. I want to show someone from Toro what people in Sebei do, just so that we can start seeing ourselves as Ugandans, as one people. Katuma is uh, you sold out Serena uh, Sheraton mm. on the twenty years of life. Uh -huh. What next? Or what this is uh, the project you are looking at after the concert? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the con the next concert is going to be heavily influenced by culture. Next year, or this, year? Uh, this year we're making a special announcement in two weeks uh, about about the both the show 
they need a book i have a book as well that's going to be training young artists who are coming into the industry um so you need a book and i have a concert those are coming up two, two weeks is when we're announcing i'm just telling the people here especially yeah. All the songs have a future because Bariwo Bubble Gum or real music. Real music, I can do songs from 2024. I can do songs from uh, 2002. I can do songs from 2010. Mm -hmm. I can do collaborations. At, at the last concert, UB40, I did solo songs. People are always like, hey, they're waiting. Come on, child. You know, no one asked for any other music because they said it was perfect. Just love your songs. Yeah, you know, Jange, all those ones. We just did mostly solo Navio songs. Um, and we still managed to do it. So uh, it's about really understanding you know what musicianship is what writing lyrics is there's a reason i write for a lot of artists in america and the uk and asia um it's because i understand music i can do that same music i can go and perform in malaysia tomorrow yeah because i make my music universal um and a lot of people it takes a long time to learn that talent and that skill and there's the reason i'm regarded as the best rapper in east africa <laughs> You know, it's 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 a reason that regarded as the best rap in East Africa. I shouldn't be here after twenty years, but uh, people still they still go back to the old music, the new music, um, and I'm not. It's not like I'm pumping in money from somewhere. It's like Navio Navio's career runs Navio's career. That's it. I keep that separate from any other thing. Otherwise, that would be on Navio levels. You know. Um, so when you come when it, when it comes to keeping it real and and and. Uh, I think that's the most important thing to keep it real and keeping the music in an accessible way and, and keep it on the same playing field. I'm, I, I, I come from a, a family of boxers. Boxers, you know what I mean? It, you fight in your weight category. I don't want extra tools. I don't need extra tools to fit you. You know, I don't need extra tools uh, to do to outdo someone. I want to be the same weight. Let's do the same weight. You have the same studio, I have the same studio. Use the same phenon, I use the same phenon. Let's do the music business and see where we land up. Um, and I think that's what's given me 20 years in the industry. Thank you so much. Thank you.